criticism of Western sanctions, calls for the prevention of armed conflicts and compliance with international humanitarian law in conflict situations. All this is mentioned in the final declaration of the BRICS summit, published by the Russian Foreign Ministry. The document addresses the situation in the Middle East, condemning Israel's military operations in the Gaza Strip and Lebanon. But it does not mention the reasons for these actions. Ukraine is also referenced separately with no condemnation of the presence of Russian troops, but also no explicit support. The Ukrainian Foreign Ministry noted that the final declaration only confirmed Russia's failure in its attempts to sway BRICS members to its side regarding the war against Ukraine. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine has drawn attention to paragraph 36 of the final declaration of the BRICS summit in Kazan dedicated to Ukraine, in which its participants merely recalled their national positions, their commitment to the purposes and principles of the UN Charter, as well as to peaceful settlement and diplomacy. We believe that this text actually shows that Russia failed to export to the BRICS summit participants its neo-imperialist view views on changing the world order and global security architecture through its aggression against Ukraine. From a publication on the website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine. Globally, if we talk about the text and the involvement of other states that the Russians are trying to engage aside from Syria, Iran, North Korea and Belarus, we cannot truly say that this meeting turned into total support for Russia or total support for their propaganda, etc. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also reacted to the summit in Kazan. During his speech in the parliamentary summit of the Crimean platform, he noted that at the BRICS meeting there were calls to avoid tension. But simultaneously, Moscow could involve military personnel from North Korea in the war against Ukraine. Now, as some leaders of states have gathered at Putin's summit in Kazan and as military personnel from North Korea may indeed be moved closer to the front in Ukraine during the summit, accompanied by words about supposedly avoiding tension, we still know it is not the criminal who will win, not the one who destroys, not the one who deports, but the one who unites nations based on fundamental human human values and the UN Charter. One of Putin's goals is to rally the countries of the so-called Global South to help Russia circumvent sanctions. To this end, the Kremlin dictator is promoting the idea of creating an alternative currency to replace the euro or the dollar. According to Russian media, Putin has already presented it to BRICS members during the summit. This is a general protest of the Global South, or not of the West against the current financial system, that all settlements go through world reserve currencies, and all reserve currencies belong to non-BRICS members. So they've been discussing this for a long time. It's unlikely that there will be radical decisions at this summit, but we can see that both the Federal Reserve System and the European Central Bank are Alarmed. One of the guests of the BRICS summit in Kazan was UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The Ukrainian side criticized this decision, but analysts believe that Guterres could have acted as a mediator to convey to the summit participants the position of Kyiv and the West regarding the end of the Russian war against Ukraine. Reported by Bastun Katerina Mikita Skoblikov, UATV News.